you guys have attacked the first you know, few days of practices here? Um, it's been mostly getting back into things. Um, I know we didn't have a huge break off, um, but it's been a lot of you know focus on our stuff. Not as much game planning yet. I'm sure we'll get into that down the line. Um, uh, Devon Torres was saying it was at times it gets pretty intense because coaches have been going ones versus ones and stuff. So. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of that. Um, a lot of scrimmaging, trying to simulate actual you know game situations and stuff like that. And I think that time off just made everybody else a little more antsy to hit and get on the field and you know get that scrimmaging in. So it's been a little bit intense. Dan, you talked about something called Groundhog Day. You guys have some drill called Groundhog Day. What is that? Um, that's, that's what our – it's kind of a running scrimmage. Kind of like when we do the jersey scrimmage. Um, in the spring, and we do it once again in camp. Um, but it's a, a running score from practice to practice. So every at the end of every practice, ones get to go against ones, twos and twos and threes and threes. And we just keep it going through the whole practice. So that's where the name comes from. Yeah. Um, how do you balance? I mean, you've been through these bowl trips, um, having fun, joining New Orleans with the fact that you know you got a bowl game to win. Um, or is it more of a business trip and you're not worried about fun or what? Well, it, it's got to be some kind of balance um, with, with everything that's around these bulls. And, I mean, I think they're supposed to be fun to some extent, but at the same time, you have to keep that focus. I think it's on, on the older guys to make sure that everybody knows we're there to play the game um, and not to get distracted with all the other things going on. Well, before this matchup was announced, did you know much about Arkansas and this team? No, not really. Um, hadn't got to see many of the games. Um, obviously, we're playing, so we don't get to watch much of it, but didn't know much about it before this. Is, is that kind of unique? I mean, the past bowl games, have you felt like you knew at least something about the program or the team in general? Or is this different experience? Um, or a little bit. Um, it could have something to do with the season going a little bit later, too. Usually we had a couple weeks to sit around and watch everybody and wonder you know, who we are going to get to play, so you at least were somewhat familiar with them. Um, but it, it's not too much different in that you know we'll have plenty of time to prepare and, and watch film. That's what I wonder. Does it matter? Does it matter if you know anything at all about a club going into bowl prep? I mean, it probably helps to have a little bit. Um, at the end of the day, we try to you know think that how we play, we'll control it regardless. Um, but yeah, going into it, you, you have plenty of time to game plan for whoever it is. Peter Roll was talking about an uh, email that Coach Russell showed you guys saying you guys have no chance of beating an SEC team. Uh, there's been a few of those. Um, but it's you know it's all it's all bullets important material. We know when it comes down to it, we'll we'll get our shot to prove it. Why do you think that the message needed to come across? Or why do you think Coach Russell decided to show you that? What do you what do you, what do you guys get out of that? Um, to be honest, I don't know if it's something that, you know, as a group really changed our mindset because we already know what the perception is and we know regardless whether it's an SEC team, a, a Big Ten team, a Big 12 team, um, our goal is to win this bowl game so uh, we can't really worry about what's happened before. Kind of a weird stat, but you guys have only lost two fumbles all year. Do you have a, uh, is there a reason for that? Did you guys stress it more than usual? Is it just this group of guys? Is it luck? What do you think? That's pretty, um, pretty good. I hope it's not luck. <laughs> Um, or you might have just ruined that for us. <laughs> but I, it's been stressed all year. Um, it's something the first thing we talk about in every meeting is take care of the ball and no turnovers. Um, so it's something that you always think about. Um, and I think, you know, to this point, we've done a decent job of, of taking care of the football. But I mean, you stress it every year, I'm sure. Maybe we just get it a little bit. This year. I wonder. This, this group of guys or something? I, I think we're a smarter group. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> must be what it, it's what it's got to come down to. Yeah, like, I don't know. Hey, Dave, this, this streak against SEC teams, I mean, you talk about the one against Michigan. This streak goes back to when Woody was coach here. Does that play anything into your mind? I know you want to win the game, and the talk of the fans and the speed of the SEC and the Big Ten. Does that come into play at all? Not for me. I mean, it's probably different for different players. I guess I've never really, you know, thought of it. Obviously, I couldn't control anything that's happened in those past teams. Um, completely different situations, different teams. As far as the speed thing goes, I'd never have thought that that's been the difference maker. Um, people don't just get slower when they come to the Big Ten. I just don't. Everybody recruits the same people. I don't know how that would happen. Um, so, uh, you know, I think it's just in those situations, that's what happened to happen, and the stat is what it is, but I don't think it really affects my play much now. Arkansas will likely throw a lot. Do you think that that would necessitate that you guys also do? Um, no. 
You did a year ago so. in the bowl game. I'm wondering if you might have followed that same template. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know what what our plan is, but I would assume that you know we would try to run our offense and control things ourselves. Um, you know, we know we have a great defense, um, and you know we've kind of counted on them all year long as an offense to, to get that other team off the field so so we can get a shot at it. So, I mean, obviously we'll see when it comes around and one more game planning goes, but uh, I'm not sure which way they're going to go with it. It's the first time we've got to talk to you since uh, the awards banquet. What was that night like for you, or that afternoon, I guess? Um, it was pretty unbelievable. Um, something that I didn't see coming when I walked into the banquet. Um, and it's it was really kind of humbling for me. Um, especially the inspirational and MVP. I'm in such a position as a receiver that I rely on so many other guys to do their job for me to even have success. So in some sense, I didn't even really think it was possible. But the fact that my, my teammates voted this and uh, you know that's that's what they decided on, uh, it, was, it was very humbling. Coach Russell said he tries to like spread the wealth out a little bit. And he doesn't necessarily like the same guy to be the MVP and most inspirational. You said you were a landslide in both cases. Did, did he tell you that as well? Yeah, he announced that at the banquet. And um, what can I, it was it was weird. It was something I didn't expect, um, but it was something that it was really awesome to be a part of. Who'd you vote for, Dan? I voted for Boom and Brandon. What kind of years did he had? Has he had the kind of year that, you, that he thought he should or that you thought he should? Or what do you see from his, his play this season? I don't know about his expectations or anything like that. Um, I think you know he's been a reliable guy for us this year. Um, I think he's he's gone out there, he's made plays. Obviously, everybody's had had our moments out there, um, but he hasn't let anything like that affect him. There's nothing in his mannerisms or how he's playing that makes me think that he's disappointed in the season. You guys play on a big stage. Do you ever see anything different in Terrell? Anything change with him, whether it's his demeanor or how his command of the huddle? Anything change with him? Um, not a lot. And I, I think that's probably a good thing. Um, I think, you know, he's done a good job in those big situations to keep his cool. Um, just trying to, I could say command of the huddle, but I feel like that's a, an every game thing, too. So uh, I would think it'd probably be a good thing that he, he doesn't change. You seem pretty unhappy about being left off the Big Ten teams and didn't win the silver football and stuff. Were you surprised by any of that? And I mean, how have you seen him? Was I surprised that he was unhappy or surprised that it happened? Well, were you surprised? Were you surprised that he didn't make it? Were you surprised that he seemed so upset about it? Um, I mean, I would expect him to be a little upset, I guess, just because I know he's a competitive guy. Mm -hmm. Expectations were through the roof like they are every year. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I can't be surprised by that. Um, and, and, yeah, I think he did have, have a good year, obviously. I don't even know how the voting works, who's a part of any of the voting. Mm -hmm. So I can't speculate on, on what should have happened. But uh, I, I know he's done his job for us well. Dane, how about this email that Coach read to you guys 